Hello our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family, as the computer is doing whatever it wants, it's acting kind of demonic, but hey, it is demonic when you get down to it. We're, we're kind of used to it. Yeah, and I don't mean ours in particular, just computers. Just computers. That, that's, you know, hey, it's all part of ARPA, which became DARPA, it's all about, you know, advanced research projects to maintain control over the human race. Constant control. Meanwhile, we got some massive explosions due to an identified bombing. This is at the Kalsu base in Babel, Iraq. Ah, Babylon. Yes, as you see, this is saying that eight people were eliminated by airstrikes targeting pro-Iranian militias. Now, the U.S. has come out and said, wasn't us. Just saying, wasn't us. So that leaves a uh, likely candidate being Israel. No confirmation yet, though. So, you know, we, we had strikes yesterday, and there was kind of no response. Uh, Iran kind of shrugged it off, even though they had said before they would respond in kind. And then now you have this happen, where it's more strikes in Iraq, U.S. is saying it's not us, so obviously it's probably Israel, but they're not going to probably confirm or deny it. And, uh, you know, it seems like Israel's leadership is just hell-bent on creating hell on earth. It is, and, and it's going to continue, too. So it's like, um, what do you do? You know, we were talking with a family member earlier, and they when, when these controllers are committed and hell-bent on... Uh, creating this kind of nastiness where do you turn where do you go what do you do and you know it all continues to just circle right back to us and it's our response to the issue is what's so important yes absolutely it is and uh well, it just seems like everything is kind of weird today have you guys had any glitches going on uh, yourselves, but we, we've been kind of unplugged a lot of the day after uh, we did, it was today, we did a video on Patreon uh, exclusive, and it was almost an hour video, uh, deep dive into a lot of very deep subjects that honestly a lot of people on this planet just don't have the attention span to really go deep into, and that is on purpose, completely on purpose. And here you see Israel performs a quote-unquote precision strike on two apartments in Rafa. Eight reportedly killed. Um, I saw, unfortunately, five little bodies of kids that were uh, killed. It, it's just beyond um, comprehension for anybody with a soul to understand what's going on here. And that's part of the problem because ultimately the opposing side the darkness, it doesn't have a soul because it, it, it is not from source. It's not from the original um, natural way of things. But this this is, actually we have the KP index all the way up to 7 here. So you see uh, the magnetic field is predominantly pointing southward past several hours. Strong G3 geomagnetic storm is now in progress. Uh, I did see where people were seeing Aurora all the way down into the UK. And so, you know, be aware of that. Ooh and we are getting closer uh, to the closest pass of the comet, the mother of all dragons comet, the Draco comet. It's making its closest approach to the sun before it's expected to veer away. And that'll be on the 21st. So we'll watch that as well. Meanwhile, watching a lot of things quake-wise. So when we look at it, we're at 302. So yeah, it's relatively busy. I see a lot of activity all through Alaska. And then we also have a lot of activity in uh, California. There's been a lot of activity in California. There's some interesting quakes. Um, I, I don't think these are really quakes. Like these over here, if you see these, these are right next to the highway. This is exactly where Cindy and I saw on the other side, right over here. Uh, Amargosa Valley, yeah, we used to own a little piece of property over there. 
Um, this used to be home over here, right across from the Air Force Base, and we saw a jet come down and fly parallel to us, and it didn't make the slightest sound. It was quieter than a mouse. And he was about eight feet off the ground, just running parallel with us. Well, you look at these, and some of these are negative 0.1, negative 0.3. Um, it's interesting. I would tend to think they might be bombing. Uh, but this is outside of the Air Force Base, so that would hit me as a little strange. But then again, there's mountains in here. I don't know. Are they testing out something? Are, are they sending some sort of sonic? Uh, I don't know. There's there's something going on there that's curious. Can you can you sense anything? You know, it's it's kind of weird because when I go in to sense it, and maybe I can ask people's um, uh, information that might come to you guys. I see I see an invisible an invisible barrier, an invisible vibration. So I, I feel they're sending out some type of frequency, but it's not necessarily in the ground. Um, it's something a little different. I've never seen it before, especially the, 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 the translucent nature of this energy form that I see going through there. This feels new. This feels different. This feels like, like different it's a different technology. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I get. It's some sort of different technology. Um, yeah, it's interesting, too, as as made mention before, that you'll see a lot of activity in Nellis itself. And then if you look at Ridgecrest, you know, here's Ridgecrest. Now, we, of course, Ridgecrest had that big quake, um, gosh, four years ago, I guess it was. Um, and we we really felt it. They'll they they have the possibility of large quakes, but this is also again it's a it's a naval warfare base, China Lake. So you know again you will have bombing runs and things like that going on, and and here again we have some outside of the base, but they're pretty you know I don't know we'll see. There's a lot of blasting I take it going on deep down inside the earth. Yeah, you know, everything is kind of getting um, exposed. It really is. It's getting exposed. There was a swarm over here in Bodfish. California has been pretty active, and I do think we're getting closer. We're getting closer to those big ones. So, you know, lots of swarming, lots of small quakes going on. And then over in Jersey... We see uh, we have some more activity back again, but we also have one that's over here a little bit farther west in Pennsylvania, 2.4, 8 kilometers deep. And all these over here are relatively shallow, uh, 8 kilometers, 2.6, 2.5, and 6.3. There's interesting things ahead. Let's just let's just put it that way. And this is another part of <laughs> our mainstream news now. Oh, MK Ultra was a conspiracy theory. Well, by the way, before we go into this story, there was a guy um, that was labeled by the press as a conspiracy theorist that set himself on fire uh, purposely. Uh, left a note about Trump and everything. And when I looked, and we both looked at a picture of him, you could see this this man has substance abuse problems. But that opens the doorway to all sorts of demonic en energy, energies, entities, both energies and entities. And even, again, very, very legal substances will open those doors. Uh, this is right on Fox News. They're talking to MK Ultra survivors and what they went through and even acknowledging the fact that the biggest drug dealers on the planet are the alphabet soups. You know, the CIA, the FBI, and corresponding uh, agencies and other governments around the whole globe. They're the biggest drug dealers there are. So when the white hats are black hats and you know, the black hats are black hats, where's the white hats? You know... It, you're not going to find them in the system, unfortunately. And if there are there, and we do know, uh, you know, some people that are in the system would love to see a change. But how are they really going to change the system? As soon as they go to make a move, 
they're no longer in the system or they're just no longer with us. Well, the system is so sewn together quite nicely so that um, there's really not much you can do once you get in. Um, you might be able to hold on to some internal light, and that's what I would suggest to anyone who is near that, that uh, control system. If there's really nothing you can do, hold on to your own light. You know, hold that vibration because that actually does go out into the world and it can help lift up other energies it can make certain situations for people not so bad you know you never know when you might change change a heart of a, a, a lizardly type I, I do believe it's possible when we've stepped into this new age I, I don't think it's impossible so keeping keeping our possibilities open keeping our minds and hearts open to change is important but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't like not guard yourself with this uh, totalitarian system and you, you should really really be careful with yourself and and your goings-ons when i say open your heart i'm just saying lift the frequency around you 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 don't have to do anything more than that that does it on its own absolutely and you know we, we understand mk ultra and many of you guys do too and this is just a horrible thing that's been done to so many people it would probably blow your mind to know how many people have suffered under this and again they use our own taxpayer dollars to fund these type of demonic, diabolical programs. The whole system is going to be thrown into the fire. And you can see that this is purposeful. They are going to make a sacrifice of their own system. Oh, absolutely. They're, they're going to toss them all into the fire because ultimately the real control system is not on earth and it's not <laughs> led by humans so all humans in the control system the real control systems eyes are all just pawns and expendable and again are you going to keep track are you going to be able to verify oh that was the real trudeau but was it really you know it might have been body double number two you know the one that's kind of got the chipmunk cheeks the fat one yeah and okay well which which jb is this oh wait a minute we found another oh no here's another yeah it's all been such an illusion now this even sounds what i'm saying right now might sound a little crazy even for a cons piracy theorist wait a year probably just one year it won't be crazy because you're going to be watching it. it it's it's purposeful though they are tattletaling on themselves in order to bring in something that you're going to trust. Mm -hmm. they, they do what they do. Yeah, they do. Absolutely. And, you know, um, I wanted to just bring up before we go off on this one. Uh, there is, I mentioned them before, a group of remote viewers. Do you remember the name? Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, Edward Reardon, who I was familiar with before, um, let me see if I can find them again. So this was a really, really good one. Mike uh, showed me today and I, I watched it. And the information that they brought forward was just jaw dropping. And, and keep in mind that um, the way that they do this is they put a target in an envelope. No one knows what that target is. They just start rattling off about it and um, they get the information about it. So I found this to be probably one of the better remote viewing sessions I've ever, ever come across. Um, yeah. And I think, again, uh, th these guys are pretty good and a, a few of them feel really good. But it's not that we can't do this. I if you guys are clear, if, if, if you're clearing yourself away from all the mind altering chemicals and things that we can take in uh, that that are going to lower our frequency we could do this we could all do this and and some of it's just knowing what you're getting keeping track of what you're getting knowing when you are really getting a message from a different density and 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 trusting in that and just being consistent so you know this one is the one i'm talking about emp incoming Russia versus Ukraine, remote viewed. Uh, I would encourage, I'll put it at the top of the links, everybody to listen to it because for the most part, 
what these guys got, and a couple of them especially, uh, is exactly what I've been seeing uh, the whole time. And so it just kind of feels good to see these guys who they're, you know, they, they don't necessarily view things like Cindy and I do. I think I don't think they think there's any sort of uh, ET interference in the planet or anything like that. Um, so it was interesting to see their take on it and just more confirmation uh, that others, when they when they focus on this, you can see the timeline that we're on. You really can. This is why everything is going to end up collapsing. They're not going to be able to hide us, hide the truth from us anymore. Uh, the only way they could do that is by, again, downgrading humanity. And so this is the push for all those things that you guys know. And it goes from the ouches to, to all the, you know, fake foods to eating the bugs and everything. It's all about lowering our frequencies so that we will not have these abilities developing. But these abilities are a natural part of any other uh, age other than a Kali Yuga. They've become masters at uh, trying to hold the human race down. But I've said it once and I'll say it a million more times. Nature will find a way. Absolutely. And, you know, the one right next to it was a fun one, too, because they were remote viewing Elon. And they were getting that Elon is not what he is making out to be. Uh-huh. Yep. More agreement. So, anyway, go check them out as well. Thank you for thumbs upping the the videos, helping the algorithms out, making sure you're still subscribed. We had a couple of our patrons tell me, you know what, um, you know, we, we, we're patrons, but we, we go over to YouTube and we thumbs up and we, um, you know, try to help you with the uh, algorithms over there too, because this is truly a war that all of us are engaged in. It's a war for consciousness and expansion on the planet. Mm -hmm. Which is very kind if you can do that, even if you're on Patreon, it definitely gives us a little boost and you know, we are the, the little guy um, <laughs> and these guys here, they're little guys too. And we all need as much help getting the truth out as, as we can get. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.